Hey guys, Jordan here with the Geomock channel, and welcome to episode 2 of Breaking the Meta Elite Dangerous. Uh, today we will be testing in a eagle, as you can see there. Um, we are in Gupta City, we'll be testing an eagle, and as per request, the first test will be with two um, shotgun-like weapons. I can't remember exactly what they're called at the moment, but they're shotgun-style weapons with a beam laser to take down uh, shields, so we'll be testing that first. And second, we'll be doing an eagle with... Uh, missiles to kind of follow up on the sidewinder with uh, torpedoes in the last video so hopefully the missiles work out a little bit better i know you can carry a few more so we will check that out so let me go ahead and get this eagle outfitted and get over to the area that we'll be testing these and i will be right back all right guys welcome back so i did have to come out to a different star system here to go ahead and find some other parts especially like the uh the fragment cannon and the, um, um, some internal parts for it. I wasn't able to find it where I was, so I did fly out to a different uh, area. This is Altair. It's the, um, oh, and I apologize if I do sound a little stuffy, maybe cough a little bit. I, I have been sick lately. That's why I haven't been able to get an, an episode out for you guys more recently. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the outfit real quick. Uh, so I do have the beam laser. Uh, it is gimbaled. And uh, two fragment cannons on the bottom. They're also gimbaled. So that's the, that's the uh, shotgun-like thing is the fragment cannon. Um, utility mount, I just got, you know what, I was actually going to get chaff. The other place didn't have chaff, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so we do have the chaff launcher. Um, so for internals, I just did the uh, military grade, uh, maximum power plant, maximum thrusters. I uh, just got a standard frame shift drive in here. Uh, D for the life support, C for the sensor, so I can see a little bit further. A pretty standard setup for me. Uh, maximum power coupler and standard fuel tank. And then for the optional internals, I just went for the shield generator. I wasn't too concerned with other things like this. So uh, we won't really worry about those. Okay, so I'm going to actually go head over to Brit Cemento. Um, it has a, uh, a decent uh, planet for testing um, weapons. So I will head over there and I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, welcome back. So here we are outside of a high-res uh, extraction site. Um, I actually didn't see any rocks here, which was kind of strange, but it says it's a high-res high, high res extraction site. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with it. Um, so I do have some enemies here that are wanted um looks like they're being attacked at the moment although they may not be okay but they are being attacked so we'll go ahead and move in probably on this asp scout so let's go ahead swoop in with the ship i'm gonna need a little bit more weapons for this beam laser we'll have to see how this goes um thank you to someone who commented in the last video that i wasn't using my flight assist off uh I completely forgot about using it, so hopefully it goes a little smoother this time. Go ahead and shoot this guy. This beam laser is taking a very long time. There we are. So we'll go ahead and get a little closer into this guy now. Shields up line. Taking damage. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Hmm, looks like he's actually almost dead. Alright guys, welcome back. So due to my own stupidity, um, I, uh, I actually rammed, I don't, know if you, I don't know if I'll show the end of that fight, probably will, but I actually rammed into the guy when my shields were down and I was pretty low on haul, so I blew myself up at the same time that uh, he blew up. So unfortunately I had to go back to a different terminal and start again. I am back. I am going to go ahead and test the same loadout here. I'm going to go to a standard resource extraction site, not one of the high danger ones, just because I don't really know how well these things work. So I think that would be a little bit better. So I am going to head over there and I will be right back. 
Alright guys, welcome back. So we do have another battle up here, looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and target this Imperial Eagle. There he is. Okay, his shields are down. Alright, we're gonna have to be a lot closer than that. There we go. Very nice. I actually kind of like that for maybe larger enemies. I'd have to see if there's anything bigger nearby me. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, we do have another little ship battle here, so I'd like to just give it another little try. It's just a little three wing. Uh, quite weak actually, so they shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, the shields are down. Let's get a little closer. seems to work pretty well. Destroyed. I might have to move up to the high res again just to see if I could find a uh, slightly larger ship to pick a fight with. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head out there and I will be right back guys. Hi right, guys welcome back. Uh, looks like we have a pretty neat, neat chance to test this out on a large ship. We do have an Imperial Clipper here. And he is under attack multiple directions. We're going to go ahead and move in on him. Target shields online. Target shields offline. Under attack. Okay, so we do kind of have to get him underneath of us to use those weapons. Launch some chaff there. There you are. Okay, and he actually exploded. I don't think I got too much of a hit on him, but it seemed to work out pretty well in our favor. Alright guys, welcome back. So in all reality, I could really see the, um, the shotgun fragment cannon actually working pretty well. Um, it may require a little more testing, um, especially if I could figure out how to test these weapons a little bit better. If you have any thoughts, please leave a comment uh, below. Um, also, if you have anything else that you'd like to see weapons-wise, please leave a comment below. But definitely, if you have any thoughts as to how I can go about testing these, um, sometimes it's a little more difficult. Uh, the Hazrez, I know, would probably be a pretty good idea. Um, since there are no no one else there to help me, but um, at the same time they usually do have the more experienced bigger ships and with these, you know, not so meta uh, weapon loadouts, I really don't know how well it would work. Um, and I am going to go ahead and attach the missiles and probably fly out to another resource zone and we'll see if we can get some of these missiles launched off. Um, definitely though the the fragment cannon I can see the potential with it so we'll definitely have to give it a bit more testing in the future but so far so good with that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and outfit this with some missile launchers and I'll be right back guys All right, guys welcome back so I went ahead and as you can see just put the uh, missile launchers on there they are I believe just the seeker missile racks yes so we're gonna go ahead and go back. I gotta buy all the missiles for them, so 12 grand. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and head out of here and back to a resource site. And I'll be right back when I get to the resource site. All right guys, welcome back. Um, so here is an eagle right ahead of me here. So we're gonna go ahead and move in on this guy. And I think a good plan here would be to take out his shields, which we're going to work on right now. Oh, I need to get used to that flight assist again. There we are. Fortunately, nothing happened because he still had his shields up. Come on, get a shield. There we are. Seems to work pretty well. 
He's dead. All right. 1v1, not too bad. Um, so, yeah, that actually seemed to work pretty well. We'll go ahead and try maybe for the Sidewinder, see how he is. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for him. Okay, he is hitting us, of course. There we are. And explosion. I am kind of liking these missiles, especially launching two at a time. It seems to do pretty well. Missile seems to work pretty well. I'd like to see it against a larger target if possible. So let me head to the high resource site really quick, see if we could find something big to shoot at. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, so it looks like a lot of these... Um, a lot of these ships over here actually would be a pretty good target. They're not in a wing, but they're all wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and go after this adder very quickly. Hopefully we can uh, keep out of its range. Come on. This is actually working pretty good. Oop. Hitting pretty hard, too. some shaft there. Now we do have to keep him in our shot here. There he is. Nice. Okay. He's going to take a little bit more hitting. And it does look like the larger ships are going to take more a kill, unfortunately. But uh, we did get that guy. And 21 grand out of him. Not bad. Okay, guys. Welcome back. We're going to have to go ahead and try to take down this guy right here. He's an Asp Explorer. Nice large ship. We're going to go ahead and aim for his power plant here. a little bit here. Too close, too close, too close. There we are. Ah, and it looks like we are out of ammunition for our missiles. So, definitely did get the kill on him there. Very nice. Alright guys, I wanted to show you right, real quick right before I left. I made it back to the station and I did notice that uh, I have 107,000 uh, bounty voucher credits. So that's actually not too bad. That's from the uh, the missile launcher. So um, that's, that's not a bad haul at all. So uh, I'll have to do a little more testing into that to see if it's really good. But so far it looks, looks pretty decent. Alright guys, so with that there, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here with a very nice shot of the uh, back of this planet here. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, definitely did look like the flak uh, cannon, the fragment cannon, uh, worked pretty well to be honest. I, I could see it doing well against larger ships, but definitely we do need to... Uh, take a closer look at that. Um, the missiles kind of worked pr uh, probably about the same as the uh, torpedoes, to be honest. Um, there were a lot more missiles, so I think they were a little more effective than the torpedoes, but uh, perhaps we'll have to go do a little testing of that too, and I would think in a wing would probably be a very good way to test that. Um, so other than that, guys, I hope you did enjoy the episode. Again, if you have any thoughts uh, anything you'd like to see me test, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Also, again, if you had any ideas as to how I could do a little bit better testing, um, besides at a resource extraction site, um, I was also going to check try conflict zones. I may try that next time. But uh, if you guys did like the episode, please leave a like. Um, if you'd like to see more of these episodes as well as other guides to Elite Dangerous and much more videos, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any kind of questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, see ya!